A lent 5,000 rupees to B for 2 years and 3,000 rupees to C for 4 years on simple interest at the same rate of interest and received 2,200 rupees in all from both of them as interest. What is the rate of interest per annum? Well, A received 2,200 rupees from both B and C as interest. So simple interest paid by B plus the simple interest paid by C will be equals to 2200, isn't it? Now simple interest paid by B will be equals to PNR upon 100. P is 5000 times N is 2 years times R is what we have to find upon 100. In the same way is the case with C. So we have P as 3000, N as 4 and R is the same as B. Right, so R upon 100 is equal to 2200. So these zeros get cancelled out, these zeros also get cancelled out. What remains is 50 times 2R, that's 100R, plus 30 times 4R, that's 120R, and that's 2200. So 220R is equal to 2200. So therefore, R is equal to 2200 by 220 and that's 10. So the rate of interest per annum is 10%. Option D. The difference between the simple interest received from two different sources on rupees 1500 for three years is rupees 13.50. What is the difference between their rate of interest? So the difference between the simple interest is 13.5 rupees. So I can write SI1 minus SI2 is equal to 13.5. And in both the cases, the principal amount and the number of years are same. So only the rates are different. And that's what we have to find, the difference between their rates. So SI1 can be written as PNR upon 100. The principal is 1500 times N is 3 times R1 upon 100 minus again 1500 times 3 times R2 upon 100 is equals to 13.5. So cancelling out the zeros we have 15 times 3 is 45 R1 minus 45 R2 and that's 13.5. Right. Taking 45 common, so I have 45 R1 minus R2 is equal to 13.5. Therefore, R1 minus R2 is equal to 13.5 by 45. This could be written as 135 by 450. Dividing both the numerator and denominator by 45. So this is 45 times 10 is 450 and 45 times 3 is 135. So this is basically 3 by 10 and that's 0.3 percent. And we have found out the difference. So option C is the correct answer. A money lender finds that due to a fall in the annual rate of interest from 8 percent to 31 by 4 percent, his yearly income diminishes by 61.5 rupees. What is his capital? Now a money lender always earns his money by interest and it is said that his money or his income diminishes by 61.5 rupees. That means that previous interest minus the new interest he is getting right now will be equal to 61.5. Now we can solve this. Let this capital or the principal amount be x rupees. Right. So previous interest is PNR upon 100, so that's X times N will be 1 because it is the yearly income times the rate. The previous rate was 8% times 8 by 100 minus the current interest and that is again PNR upon 100, so X times 1 times the new rate is 31 by 4, so 31 by 4 divided by 100. So this becomes 4 times 100, right? It is equals to 61.5. Okay, 
So taking 1 by 100 common, we have 1 by 100 here. I have 8x minus 31x by 4. This is 61.5. Now this 100 goes to the right. So this is 61.5 times 100. The decimal point moves two places to the right. So this is 6150. On the left hand side, I have 8 for the 32 minus 31x and that's x by 4. Therefore, x is equals to 6150 times 4 and that is equals to 24,600. So the capital amount of this money lender is 24,600 and that is in option C. Mr. Thomas invested an amount of rupees 13,900 divided in two different schemes A and B at the simple interest of 14% per annum and 11% per annum respectively. If the total amount of the simple interest earned in two years be rupees 3,508, what was the amount invested in scheme B? So the total amount invested is 13,900. Let the principal amount invested in scheme A be X rupees. So the principal amount invested in scheme B will be obviously 13,900 minus X. Now the money was invested for two years and the simple interest got was 3,508 from both of these schemes combined. So I can say that interest from A plus interest from B is equals to 3508 right now simple interest from a will be pnr upon 100 p is x times n is 2 years times rate is 14% in scheme a so 14 upon 100 plus in scheme b the principal is 13900 minus x times n is again 2 times the rate is 11% so 11 upon 100 is equal to 3508. So taking 1 by 100 common, we have 14 times 2 is 28x plus we have 13,900 times 11 times 2 that's 22. So 13,900 times 22 minus 22x is equal to 3508. Now 28x minus 22x is 6x plus 13,900 times 22 is equals to 305800. That's 3,5,800. Is equals to this 100 goes to the right. That's 3,5,0,8,0,0. So therefore 6x is equals to 45,000. So therefore, x is equals to 45,000 divided by 6 and that is 7,500. So we have found out x, that is the amount invested in scheme A. What is the amount invested in scheme B? That's 13,900 minus x, so minus 7,500. And that is equal to 6,400. So we have found out our answer that 6,400 that is the amount invested in scheme B. So option A is the correct answer.